Hey guys, welcome back. So if you guys remember this guy, then you're probably around about the same age as me, and you'll also know that he had a movie that came out. It came out yesterday, and I went to go see it last night, and can I just say, I loved it. It was so good, it had amazing actors in it, and the storyline was just so cute. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to review that movie, just a clear warning, if you haven't seen that movie and you don't want any spoilers, please do not watch this movie because it will contain some spoilers. But if you're okay with knowing the plot before you go see it, then yeah, whatever, just keep watching. I won't mind. Now this might shock some of you when you first hear this, but Paddington is actually a PG rating. And I bet you're sitting thinking, what is so parental guidance about that? before the movie comes on, it says that it's got mild language and mild threat in it. And I think the mild threat is taxidermy and uh, Millicent actually threatens a taxi driver by hanging him by his ankles on top of a bridge, uh, forcing her, him to tell her where uh, Panton actually lives. And then after he tells her, she cuts him uh, off, like by the rope, and he falls into the water. So, mild threat and mild language. Some kids might find it a bit scary. It depends how old they are. I think if they're under eight, then they need to see it with their parents, obviously, because it's a PG. Um, but nothing uh, like somebody gets beaten up or anything is in it, so you don't have to worry about that. So the movie starts off with a film screening, like an old film screening of an uh, explorer called Montgomery Clyde going to visit uh, Darkest Peru and he discovers a family of bears, uh, Petuso and Lucy, which is Pantin's uncle and auntie. And that's how the bears discover marmalade, by giving uh, them a jar of marmalade and they drink it. And the last thing that uh, Clyde says to the bears is, when you come to London, you'll feel welcome immediately. And then 40 years passed, and this is when, like, Paddington comes along. And he's out that day, and he discovers that a bunch of oranges are ripe. So this is their chance to make as much marmalade as they can. And they actually have their own machine for it. It's so awesome! How awesome is that? Uh, sadly, an earthquake happens one night. So the three of them uh, go uh, and run to a shelter. Putuso uh, gets left behind and Pantin realises that, but Lucy, uh, his auntie Lucy pulls him back into the shelter and they wake up the next day, the jungle's completely destroyed, their home's destroyed, everything's like completely gone. And this is when they realise that Petuso is dead, because all that's left of him is the hat that uh, Montgomery Clyde gave him before he left. Uh, Pantin asks his auntie, what are we going to do? And she insists that Pantin goes to London and she goes to the retirement home for bears. So he hides in a boat and he's got his emergency stack of marmalade jars with him. He finishes them all in a night, which is crazy. And then. He finally arrives at Panton Station and he tries to uh, speak to people to try and get him at home but people's not as friendly as they thought he'd be. So he just stands and waits all night and then this, the Browns family get off the tube and they, they realise him but Mr Brown is like oh he's probably trying to sell some and don't make eye contact. They try not make eye contact with him. Um, and Panton thinks he's just lost all hope when Mrs. Brown comes uh, around and goes, are you lost? And then she insists that um, he comes and stays uh, with them for the night, um, which I think is really sweet. But um, they, Mr. Brown insists it's only for one night and he has to sleep in the attic. And little do they know that their life is about to change forever. Panton's first night in the house, he destroys the bathroom, he uses toothbrushes to clean his ears, he blocks the toilet, he floods the bathroom. Mr. Brown thinks that the bear is so dangerous to his children. The little boy wants to be an astronaut, which is typical for a little, a little boy, and the other little girl is 
um, suffers from embarrassment of boyfriend and she won't take him home because she's so embarrassed of her family and now that Pantin is with them she's like no 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 that's even worse. Pantin then remembers that an explorer came to Peru and uh, he actually gave his uncle the hat that P Paddington was wearing so they use it as to track the explorer down because he can believe that the explorer can give him a home. Then we discover the villain of this movie called Millicent and she is played by Nicole Kidman and I tell you she was amazing. She went out with a bang with this part. She is really persuasive, beautiful, and she uses it to get what she wants. She uses her persuasion to get what she wants. She's intimidating. She's a perfect villain. because She actually appears to be uh, the daughter of the explorer that went to Peru and gave Pantin's uncle that hat. Scary, huh? She is an owner of a museum and she stuffs animals as objects to just decorate her museum and then her assistant who kidnapped a little monkey told her that he found uh, marmalade on the head of the boat because he was the one that dis um, that actually was on the boat where Pandon was riding to London. She remembers the story because like her dad gave uh, discovered marmalade and she went oh, I've been waiting for him for ages so then she decides to track him down. After Mr. Brown and Panton break into the um, geography uh, department or whatever they go to, um, they find a film of at Montgomery Clan, Peru, and his uncle and auntie are there, and they they find the name of the explorer Montgomery Clyde, and Mrs. Brown gives Panton a phone book and the addresses of every M. Clyde in London. And then later the same day, Mrs. Brown goes out, the kids go to school, and Mr. Brown goes out. So Panton's left home alone. They're sure that they can trust him. Um, so Panton looked through the notebook and then he ends up ripping it. So he tries to sell tape it, but then he doesn't know how to cut. So he ends up getting himself tangled and tangled and tangled. Millicent breaks into the house and she calls the house phone, which catches Panton's attention. So he gets closer and closer and closer and she's just got her gun at the ready waiting to shoot him with this bullet that knocks people out. She misses because like he jumps back. So he hides somewhere because he thinks an elephant is attacking the house and she can't find him anywhere. Gas in the place by accident so she puts a mask on so that's how Panton thinks that she's an elephant. Coming back home, the Browns, Mr. Brown in particular, doesn't believe the story that an elephant attacked Panton. And then he says to his wife, enough is enough, he is going away, he is going away. And then the wife gets really upset and so do the kids because Panton left a note saying, sorry, I've ran away and runs away. And then once again, the cliche story, the father turns out to be the bad guy. So Panton runs around all of London looking for the addresses uh, with M. Clyde in it and the Brown family is just on to the police like they're waiting and waiting every day for a phone call and then he finally arrives at the door with Montgomery Clyde which is a la the last one but it's not him that answers the door, it's his daughter, Millicent. Millicent actually uses her charm and good looks to persuade the Brown's neighbour into helping her kidnap Panton. The neighbour's name is called Mr Curry, that's how they call him, and he's actually paid, uh, played by Peter Capaldi. And I like jumped with joy on the inside when I realised it was him. Peter Capaldi aka The Doctor. I love him so much, I think he's a great actor. I love Doctor Who as well. Um, I just love the fact he was in that. Well, he's one of my favourite Doctors. He plays the Doctor so well and he makes it... Well, enough about the Doctor, Jane. Enough about Doctor Who. This is about Panton. So when Panton manages to find the exact dress for Montgomery Clyde, it's not him that answers, it's a woman. And she takes him in and she says, um, he was actually my father. Sorry, he's dead. And then she... Um, says to him, what can I do for you? And he says, oh, 
I thought he would have given me a home. And she said, oh, but I can. And then she puts him in this van. It says taxi, but then when she closes the door, it says taxidermy. And then Mr. Curry uh, comes along and like he gives her flowers that he found off like on a lamppost. So it was obviously for someone who died. How romantic. Millicent is like, yeah, I'm just taking him. And he went, wait, what? You're stuffing him? And like, he got completely against that. And she said, oh, I was never interested in you. You're, I'm not your honey, go away. And then he ran away and he actually told the Browns family uh, that uh, Panton got kidnapped. And uh, he's at the museum. And then when uh, Millicent just, uh, reveals that she's going to stuff Pant and he tries to escape but she manages to shoot him with the bullet and knocks him out completely and then she gets him into the stuffing in process part and the Browns family manage to break into the museum Mr. Brown wakes up panting on the uh, window outside and goes, oh, I'm so sorry, I was wrong, I was wrong. And then uh, he says, oh, get out of there, get out of there. And panting goes up a chimney, well, a heater, like using these hoovers. And then the boiler starts to go on, so it gets really warm. And he uses the hoovers to climb and climb and climb. And just before he gets to the top, the batteries go low. And then he tries and jumps for it, but he misses. And luckily his family is there just to catch him. How cute is that? Uh, Millicent is like, not so fast, that bear is mine. And then there's a whole speech about, no, Pantin is our family, leave him alone. And then uh, she's like, oh, but come to me. And then she gets knocked off the roof by Mrs. Bird, the Browns. Uh, made. <laughs> she is so funny. She was drunk and she got the security guard drunk so that he would get distracted for the security cameras so that the Browns could break into the museum. Oh, I love her so much. I love Julie Walters. I loved her ever since the last Harry Potter uh, movie when she said, not my daughter, you. <laughs> She was just a legend after that moment. Seriously, a legend. My overall uh, review about the movie is it does have good actors in it. It has Nicole Kidman, Peter Capaldi, Julie Walter, and Wishaw as Panton, Sally Hawkins as Mrs. Brown. There were definitely some dark sides for a children's point of view in the movie, uh, especially the bridge part and how she knocked security guards off to uh, view Panton Station's cameras to track down the cab where um, Panton went to go home. And she, like, Melissa's character is actually so clever, she's a genius, but then again, as a villain, you have to be a genius because then you're never gonna work, your plans are never gonna work. So, yeah, Nicole Kidman, I'm gonna say it again, she blew the part away. Also, also Hugh Bonneville, Hugh Bonneville actually done a great part as playing Mr. Brown. He was strict, uptight, he looked like it as well, he looked the part, which was fantastic, and that made him so persuasive as a character. And yeah, I'd definitely be scared of him if I was panting. And Mrs. Brown, I would want her as a mother. She's the sweetest thing ever, honestly. I'm not too sure about the kids. I didn't really get to know them so much. I didn't know their characters so much, apart from the little girl was just too embarrassed. She did come across as like just someone who just cared about her reputation, which quite a lot of girls do, really. Especially if they move to another school. They want to start off good. They want a good reputation. So in a way, we all relate to her. And little boys who want to be an astronaut all relate to him. Um, the little boy was actually really smart. He could build like anything from this technology. I, mean, I don't think it was Lego, but it did look like Lego. Also, Peter Capaldi was in it. The highlight of the movie uh, was definitely Uncle P Petuso uh, had marmalade pool all in his hat and never realised it and like he put it on top of himself because like he wanted um, 
he wanted his hat back from Panton. He never trust Panton at the time with his hat. And then Marmalade just went all over him. <laughs> really funny. Also, there's a part where Panton is in the station and like, he gets cake all over his bottom and um, he licks it actually off his bottom so it looks like he's licking his bottom. Also when Julie Walters knocked Nicole Kidman off of the roof. Um, I do recommend this movie, especially if Pantin was part of your childhood. Um, you'll fall in love with little Pantin. He is the cutest thing ever. Ben Wishaw done a brilliant job on him, really an amazing movie and yeah I know it wasn't a great review that wasn't really a great review but I managed to get my point across the storyline was a bit cliche when the father wasn't so uh, wasn't so sure about uh, Panton living with them at first and then becoming the bad guy and the wife and the kids all becoming angry at him because it's his fault that Panton ran away. That story is a bit cliche, but the twist of it was that he uh, like got really good with him, got really friendly with him, began to trust him more and helped him to help him find his explorer. And when he got lost at the, uh, in, at the station, at the uh, in the tube station uh, he did get worried whereas as usual uh, the father would probably just not care and it's like oh at the highlight he is gone yeah definitely a good movie guys i would recommend go see it especially if panton was your childhood you cannot beat panton bear